heck of a game, especially to start Big 12 play here. And I'm going to start with my pitcher because I think Parker French is probably someone that we have to talk about with this performance. Well, yeah, it was, like you heard Augie, Augie say he was very courageous tonight. He's, he's a bulldog pitcher. He's your Friday night guy. He went out and did not let his defense upset him. They made a couple errors and led to a couple of West Virginia runs. But Parker French stayed right in there, kept his team, kept his emotions intact on the mound. When the innings were over, he was pretty emotional tonight, and I think the team might have fed off that later in the game. Texas trailing 3-1, to one, and let's kind of go through the highlights here because the sixth inning was a very big inning in this game. Taylor Munden's going to get on, Justin Fox, and Texas defense kind of fell apart. Yeah, there was a little bit of confusion who's covering first there, and then they did a nice job, did West Virginia, finding a way to push those couple of runs across. Coach Guido had a, a little bit of meeting in the dugout, and then Brooks Marlowe comes out out and he gets a quick one for you. His second home run in his many games right here and all of a sudden it's a 3-2 ball game and then the next inning Hinojosa comes to the plate he gets a fastball on a 1-0 count. It's good to see CJ get going. He drove in two tonight. Two crucial runs. That ties the game. Then in the ninth execution for me or in the tenth excuse me. Uh, the execution of doing everything you need to do and then a guy comes off the bench a second at bat of the night coming off the bench comes up with a big sacrifice fly and Texas finds a way to hold serve at home in game one here of the Big 12 season. Yeah, the Texas offense really using everyone they can.